Denise Jordan here, and I've got more news for you from Makeup on Aisle 64. Today, I've got Tyra Mail, Tyra Mail, Tyra Mail. You know, I never thought I would get Tyra Mail. I have a friend who is a beauty tainer. Her name is Angela Johnson, and she is selling the Tyra um, Banks makeup line. And she's one of my friends on my uh, Facebook group, uh, Makeup for Black Women 40 and Over. And one of the things that we were doing at Christmas time was to try to um, buy a Christmas gift from each of the various businesses that the ladies in the group own. I was challenging everybody to see if they could put at least two gifts under every Christmas tree from a black owned business. Not that we weren't supporting other businesses, but I just kind of wanted people to think about supporting black businesses also. It was kind of a thing we were talking about, hashtag black biz sweets. And so I ordered something from her. Now, this didn't go under my tree. I kept it for myself. But I did order two things that did go under my tree from some black owned businesses. I got the Missy Lynn palette from one daughter-in-law. And granted, she doesn't own BH Cosmetics, but it is her cosmetic palette, so I, I did that. And then for um, one of my other daughter-in-laws, I ordered um, this lipstick from Abani Cosmetics, I believe. And it was a new lipstick line that I had seen in the Makeup for Black Women group. And I thought, I'll give it a try. What the heck? And so she loved it and looked really good on her. I'll do... Um, a posting on that later but in the meantime I have got some Tyra meal of my own so let's see what's in the box the one thing that I do regret is that I didn't get in on the sale price they were running like a 40% off or something like that at Christmas time I was just so doggone busy I just didn't get a chance to get to it so you see the kind of box that it comes in and here's the Tyra Banks logo that's on there and it's like this big eye with big fierce eyebrow above it and then the inner wrapping is like this. Now what did I order? Well first of all I ordered some eyebrow pencil. This is called uh, Blackish Brown and it is Menage Brow is what it's called Menage Brow and when you get get it out of the box and these little boxes are always a little trick to getting the product out so this is what it looks like once you get it out of the box it's it's a beautiful gold with Tyra in the middle and then you've got these two little black tips on it and then when you get the ends the caps off again you can kind of see how it is so you've got a brow pencil on one side and you've got this little kind of a, a little teeny tiny brow brush that's on the other side to kind of help you sort things out so that's kind of neat let's get the caps back on and then there's a set of instructions that comes with it to tell you how to use the menage brow dual end it for double brow duty, first line, define, and shape your fierce arches using the precision pen, and then flip the wand to fill in and build them up. So that's that. The other thing is called lip model, and it's a lipstick. You know how I love my lipsticks, and the color is what it takes. I just love the names that she has for things. Just so interesting. I don't know how they come up with kind of stuff. I brought some. Um, I bought some mascara once, and it was called Smack My Fat Lash. Anyway, this is the tube, and look how pretty that is. I mean, just such a beautiful gold color. And check out that color. Take a look at what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? I am definitely going to get some good wear out of that. This is just absolutely gorgeous.
Tyra, you got a winner with this one. And then this is what I really wanted was the eyes in a stick. Now, I already had one eyes in a stick that I had bought when I saw the Tyra Banks stuff on HSN. And this is what it looks like. It is called Blowed and it's kind of a, a blackish, goldish color. It's black with sparkles of gold. But I always wanted to know what the lighter color would look like. So I ordered this one and it is the eyes in a stick and the color is called Once You Go Brown. And I had seen one of the um, ladies on YouTube who had tried this color and I just thought it looked so pretty and but it wasn't the one that I had so now this is what this one looks like and it too has some specks of gold in it so I am really pleased with this so I can't wait to try it so my Tyra mail is a hit so I've got the eyes in a stick and once you go brown I've got some cool lipstick and then of course I got the menage a trois um, brow I'm sorry not menage a trois that'd be kind of interesting wouldn't it menage a brow <gasps> I gotta get some makeup on so since I have been talking about getting Tyra mail I thought I would try to actually put the makeup on so you could see what it looked like. One of the things I'm going to try to start doing moving forward is putting makeup on on camera. So this is my first attempt and you will get to see it. Who knows how things will turn out. Well the first thing I do is put on my primer. I've already cleansed my face and put the moisturizer on but now I need to put on some primer. One of the things that I find is that my face does accept the makeup a lot better if I put on a primer. It just gives me a great canvas to start with. And since I'm trying to figure out what 10 products I'm going to do on the 10 product challenge, I'm not using as many things as I normally would. So. I normally use a, an under eye cream and then a primer and then an eye primer and all of that. But since I'm trying to sort out which tin, I'm just going with my face primer as an all over primer today. And then I will apply my foundation. I dot it all over my face. And then I blend. Just kind of smooth it all out and just blend it. I find I get better coverage. And then I take my foundation brush by Real Techniques, the flat foundation brush, and make sure it's nice and smooth, particularly around the areas where either I tend to get a little redness, which is like around the nose here. Now I can't see a lick without my glasses, so what I'm going to have to do is put them on and see how things are looking. I think that's looking pretty good.
I'll try to remember not to bend over. I tried to do this video yesterday and I had a bonnet on and when I looked at the replay all I could see was the top of the bonnet because I had my head way down so I'm trying to remind myself not to bend over too far so if I do please forgive me this is a like I said I'm a newbie at trying to put on makeup on camera okay so I've got my primer on I've got my foundation on so now I want to address these eyebrows and since I'm trying to just use a few products I'm going to be using my new Menage Brow by Tyra Banks. So I will try to outline the brow. I better put my glasses on to do this. So, I've got it outlined and now I need to fill it in. So the one end, this end, is where you use it to outline and then the other end is the end that you use to fill it in. I better keep the glasses on. Normally I'm in a big mirror in my bathroom. So if these brows come out wicked, you'll know why. I normally have to get a little closer to see. them out. I'm one of those that I would forget to do my brows, but my niece always says, Aunt Denise, you gotta do the brows. I'm gonna go with that. They're looking okay for now. So I've got the brows on. And then the other thing that I got in this collection was this eyes in a stick and I am going to be using it as my eye liner as well as um, some eye makeup so we'll see how that works I've got my primer on so I'm not putting on more primer I'm just going to go with this no before I put that on, I want to use some eyeshadow, and then I'll add this to that. In case you wonder why my studio sounds like Wuthering Heights, well, we've got a winter storm going on outside, and the wind is just really whipping it up out there. We're supposed to get three to four inches of snow. And we'll see whether or not we actually get it, and if we do, whether or not I can get out of the house to get to work today. So, I'll get my eye makeup on. And I'm using a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. It's actually a bronzing palette, but I'm going to use it for eye makeup blusher and bronzer unless I decide to use a lips and cheek stain for blusher and lip color we'll see Mary Ellen after 60 makes 
putting makeup on on camera looks so easy. She can hold a little mirror in her hand and just see what she's doing, but she's evidently got better eyesight than I do. So I'm using the different colors here in a shimmer brick to give my eyes a nice shimmer. And going to use the lighter color as a highlight on the brow. Trying to remind myself not to bend over too far. Take a look and see how that looks. That's not too bad. Let's smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to use this pencil brush. Blend it. And I might use this a little bit more in the crease. Now the thing about Tyra's makeup is she says you really don't need brushes. She wants you to just kind of use your fingers. She encourages you to use your fingers to blend. And because of that, I have been working more at using my fingers. And it's amazing how fingers can work pretty well. But I still resort to a brush because I'm not the greatest at it yet. Blended more into the crease so there's not like an obvious line. And I've got brown eyes, so I'm thinking this once you go brown ought to look pretty good on me, and I think I like it. Okay, so now let me just get a little bit on under the eye and then I'll get some mascara on. I'm still using the shimmer brick. Okay, now let's go with some mascara. Trying to remind myself not to bend over too far, so hopefully you can see that. And 
and I'm stabilizing my hands on my face kind of like that and it just kind of helps me get a better application half the time I'm poking myself in the eye so I found that if I stabilize my hand like that I don't poke myself quite as much now this is a great mirror I just have to get used to using this one instead of the big bathroom mirror This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Hmm. I think it's doing okay. What do you think? Alright, I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so now let's get on the cheek color. One of the things I notice is that if I smile real big like this, when I get the blush on, if I get it down a little bit too far, then when my face goes to its normal position, the blush is a little bit too low. So I try to just do it real high up on top of the cheekbone, or rather on top of the cheeks, on top of the apple. So that when I do stop smiling, the blush is where it should be. So there's my blush. Let's get some bronzer on. And this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick is not real dark. So one of the questions that I'm frequently asked is, well, is it woman of color friendly? And this is working out pretty good for me. And I think even my more ebony sisters would do well with this because it would give you such a beautiful glow. So I think this is one that's definitely woman of color friendly. And you can do so much with it. Highlight, bronze, glow. And don't we all need just a little bit of an inner glow? Only thing left is to put on my lippy. Isn't this a beautiful color? Just using a lip brush just to smooth it out. Since I'm still trying to cut down on the number of products that I'm using, I didn't use a lip liner. So I'm going to have to let my natural lip line do its work. There. What do you think? We'll get this off and... Try to get my hair combed out a little bit. So I'll get my hair combed and I'll be ready to start my day. But I think I'm off to a good start. I'm liking the way my face turned out. Is that good?
kind of a nice neutral face. My lips are just a little bold, probably a little bolder than I would like for going into the office, but I wanted to give my new Tyra makeup a try, and I think it's a hit. I really, really like this lip color. Tyra, I think you're onto something. So that's it for now from Makeup on Aisle 64. I'll have more news for you later, but in the meantime, if you got some new makeup for Christmas, let me know what you got. Share it. Inquiring minds want to know.